Hey, this is Tim Bentley from Rockin' the Standards. I write the words, I play the drums with the band, and I'm a classroom teacher. Today I'm going to go through the words of the place value rap with you and help you to learn a little bit more about what the words mean to that song. So let's get it started. The digits, the digits, they each have a name. Memorize them, understand them, it's the game. So what we're saying is that each one of these digits in the song has a name that goes with them. This is the ones, the tens, as we sing in the chorus. We start at the decimal, to the left we move. Each place is ten times bigger, multiply them and we prove. What we're saying here is if we start at the decimal point and we move to the left, actually we can even start over here, not at the decimal point, move to the left. We can find out that each digit is ten times bigger than the digit next to it. And let me prove that to you right now. Let's say you've got a 6 in the 1's place and a 6 in the 10's place. Well, what is 6 times 10? That's 60. And a 6 in the 10's place is equal to, that 6 is equal to 60. So when you multiply the digit times 10, you get the next digit over. Now, of course, when it's a 0 and a 9, you multiply 0 times 10, you don't get 9. But the value of each spot is 10 times bigger as you go over to the left. That also works here. 10 times a hundredth is equal to a tenth. Uh, let me prove it to you in one other spot. You can see we have two threes here in the 10 millions in the millions place. So a three in the millions place is worth three million. All right, let's multiply that number times 10. Many of you know that all we have to do is copy down this zero in a multiplication problem like that and then we multiply the 3 million times 1. So we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with a 3. 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. So this number next door is 10 times bigger at 30 million. And sure enough, that is what that 3 is worth. It's worth 30 million. The digits, the digits, the fit in so tight. Greater to the left and lesser to the right. All right, when we say that the digits fit in so tight, what we're saying is, is that you can't leave empty spots where, are there, where there are no numbers. Uh, and these numbers, as we go this direction, get worth more, greater. So the three here is worth more than the three there. And lesser, they're worth less as we move over to the right. So even in this situation here where we have the one and the two, well, this one is worth more than the two is. This one is greater than the two even, because this is worth 100,000 and this is worth 10,000. So as we go over to the left, each number is greater. It's worth more. We go to the right, it's worth less. That's part of understanding the different place values. Starting at the decimal sandwich in between, zeros hold up empty places haven't you seen so here's our decimal point. If we start here and we have another digit like this 9 here, the 0 is sandwiched in between the decimal point and a digit that's not a 0. And that 0 has to be there. I cannot leave that empty and just assume that the person that's reading my number is going to know that there's nothing there. I've got to put a 0 that holds that empty place. If I put a 0 out here, it's not sandwiched in between the decimal point and any other digit, and this zero does not need to be there to hold the empty place. Same thing on the right side of the decimal point. When I come over here and sandwich this zero in between these other digits and the decimal, that zero has to be there. If I put a zero out here on the end, this zero is not sandwiched in between the decimal point and another digit, so that zero is meaningless and does not need to be there. Well, the digits, the digits, each one means a lot. You can't leave them out of the place value spot. And this line here is just kind of restating uh, for you the point that the digits are important. Every single one of those digits mean a lot. You cannot leave any of them out. Well, reading big numbers, each comma's a word. Thousand million billion commas, haven't you heard a word? Now this one also is, could be a little bit confusing to kids. When you're reading the numbers, when you're reading a big number like the one you see here, the simple way to understand how to read it is that each one of these commas is actually a word that you say, a special word. And what we're being told here that it's thousand, million, billion. Notice it does not say thousands, millions, billions. That's because we say the word thousand 
When we come to this comma, I'll show you in a second how that's done, we say the word million, not millions, but million, and we say the word billion when we get to this comma. So to read this big giant number right here, we're going to say 745, read it just the way you see it there, so, like if the number was just written by itself, 745. Everybody knows how to read that number, that's easy. Well, we just say it like that, and then we say this comma as a word, and the word is billion. 745 billion, 933, what's this comma? Million, 126, now we come to a comma and we say the next word, thousand, then we just say that number, 890. So this is the chorus of the song, and we go through each of the place values, and we name them in order, starting right here at the ones place. So the song sings ones, tens, hundreds, and then it says comma for that comma right there, uh, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And the chorus continues, millions, ten millions, here we have the millions place, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten millions, hundred millions. Notice that there's a pattern that each one of these sets of three, it names the period and then it goes through tens and hundreds. Here it names the period thousands and then it goes ten thousands, hundred thousands. And then the word millions, the name of the period, and you have 10 millions and 100 millions, and then you've got your billions, your 10 with the billions, and the 100 with the billions. Notice it says comma down here at the end, and that's because if we did keep going with our number, we'd need another comma right there. Let's take it to the right of the decimal point. We've got tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. This last part of the chorus helps us out with all the numbers to the right side of the decimal point. This, these are decimals over here, and so we say let's take it to the right of the decimal point. Tenths is the name of the first place, then hundredths, then thousandths, and then ten thousandths. Notice that all of these words end with TH, actually THS, but towards the end of the word we have a TH in there. As compared to the word hundreds, that has no TH, we stick the TH in there and we get hundredths or tens. We got the TH in there that makes tenths and so on. So that's why we say that it has a TH. We also say it's smaller than a one because all of these numbers over here are worth less than one whole. So hopefully you learned something today about place value from this lesson on place value wrap. And I'd like you to go to our website when you have a minute, rockinthestandards.com. We'll give you a free song you can download, put it on your iPod. We also have several other songs that you can purchase for a, a minimal price. You can get it on iTunes. We have language arts. We have uh, math songs, 27 songs in total. And we've got songs about angles, triangles, quadrilaterals. We've got skip counting songs, help you out with your times tables. Language art stuff, having to do with fact and opinion, story parts, uh, figurative language, all kinds of cool stuff. So check out rockinthestandards.com. Thanks for watching.